right, so today we are working on the garden. We cannot plant anything for about another five days because we have this cold front that's coming through. We're gonna have freezing temperatures. So we're not gonna put any of our tomatoes or anything out because um, that's just more that we'd have to cover. But today, Josh is borrowed a turnover plow from a friend and um, so it kind of just fills up your rows a little bit. We've, we've never planted like that, um, but that's kind of what we're leaning more towards doing in the future. Um, and I'll share more about that later. But today we are just um, getting these rows planned out and um, just preparing to plant. We're gonna put some paper down um, that we saw others using. I'm going to try that this year for weed control, and I'll, I'll show you guys all that, but um, right now we're just going to get this done, and uh, hopefully it works. I'm going to walk over there and show you what it's looking like. Alright, so I'm just going to trim this oregano up because... It's like growing out of control <laughs> with all the rain. And it's already seeded in a couple other pots last year. So I'm just gonna trim it up for and give it to the chickens because it's a good anti antibacterial or antimicrobial herb for the chickens. Thank you. Thank you. And they think it's a treat, so. Of course you can dry this, but I have plenty right now. Alright, Cora, you want to go give this to chickens? Yeah. Yeah? Here, you grab some of it. Grab some of it. Get it. Uh-oh. Here, get that. Let's go give it to the chickens. Yeah. Jealous are we? We shouldn't have got out of our cage. Our coop. What are you doing, Clay? Huh? What are you doing? So we got it uh, with the turnover plow. We started putting compost on our rows and then what we'll do where the compost is, we're gonna put this paper down and we'll like to use the dirt in the middle to hold the paper down, kind of heal it up on it. But the tractor quit on us. <laughs> we was doing it with the wheelbarrow couple rows and then we decided to use the tractor figured out we could get it in, in there and it quit so we're finishing with the wheelbarrow so that's what we're doing about to call it a day it's getting kind of dark getting cold but uh looks good finally getting this paper down on the garden so figured I'd show you guys since I told you the other day um, this is the it's like red roofing paper I think is what it's called get it at Lowe's um, it's roofing pretty, paper. pretty cheap and it um, is made from uh, natural things and dyes and um, which it 
kind of has a red tint to it but not really it's more of like a brown light brown um but what happens is you put this down and it it um helps you helps prevent weeds and then when you're done with your garden you can just till it in and it breaks down so um, you don't have to worry about pulling it up um, or you know having plastic in your garden if you're using plastic so um, what we've done is we got the compost down on the rows got them healed up and now they're working we're gonna put the paper down on just about half of these rows and then back here where our beans will be is where we got those big mounds we're just gonna um, spread that out and uh, put our beans back there so that's what we're working on with me. Put your hand on your hip. Put your hand on your hip. <laughs> You're cutie. <laughs> That's okay. Come on. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Are you petting it? Are you petting my mic? So, mom and dad are taking a break. We're letting the kids finish it up. We laid down the last three rows and kind of tacked them with dirt so they can they ain't blowing up on them. But it's looking good. I think we got nine rows all together. That was with two rolls of the uh, paper. And then we might get more. Um, depends on how um, how much we've got, got planted because our plan is to put beans all back through here and for us we don't typically um, put any kind of weed barrier where we put our beans so all right so how about we do a garden tour we haven't done one of those in a while and um, even though our summer garden's not in we still have a lot of things growing so We'll start up here. Um, this is going to be some nasturms. Nasturms? I don't know how you say that exactly. Here's the little blueberry bushes. Um, here's one of the dead ones that we thought was dead and it come back to life. We're just leaving it. Um, we've got to, I want to put some mulch down here and get this weeded, this area weeded real good and put some mulch down. But we have our first almost blue blueberries. They're coming. It's not going to focus. There they are. And then um, this one's got just a couple on it. These are only three-year-old plants. So um, we didn't get, we got a bunch off of them last year. It doesn't look like they're, it may be because we've had cold weather, but, um, and I got them late in the season last year. So like right when they were ready to bloom and they stayed in their pots, nice and happy. And then up here in this area, I just kind of scattered, I kind of worked up the ground a little bit and scattered some wildflower seed. And I got a lot of it coming up all around um, so that's good the frost didn't kill it the chickens have been digging in the compost <laughs> here's the purple potatoes I can walk down through here without tripping um, we have covered these twice 
already. Um, and then they're coming up really nice. Nice and big now. So, and they look like they done pretty good with the frost. We didn't cover them. We just kind of left them. So, that's those. We got some peas that didn't really come up good right here. I think they got too hot because they're turning yellow. I planted some kind of flower in this. I can't remember what it was. So if you watched the video of the winter sowing uh, like milk jugs and then this method with the window, this method um, did work. We have a couple of tomato plants coming up. But in my winter sowing, um, but in my milk jugs, all of the seeds that I planted come up. So they're in the they're in the building, and I'll show you those here in a minute. What is Watch this? Out. A cabbage? Yeah. yeah cabbage. So there's two extra cabbages. These cabbages were um, were like there was two in the same thing and we broke them off and they were a little bitty but they're doing good and then we got some more spinach coming up there all right I had to change my battery but this is all spinach um, I was finding it wasn't growing good in the raised bed um, so I replanted some it's already come up here it's coming up there right there and hopefully it'll not get too hot and then the same thing um, I think in all of these I've not had good success except for with the peas so I think what's happened because these are turnips um, and then I've got some radishes and spinach and lettuce and none of it come up only the peas um, so what I think is because we just put straight compost in here think it must have been too high in something or not enough of something I don't know um, because this is I put some fresh compost on the top of this and kind of worked it in but um, they, it come up fine in here so I think that's what's happened with these so I'm just we're, we're gonna have to figure something else out before I plant these things again um, I might try to see if some of the tomato plants or something can go in here if we have extra but that was radishes and then this is some herbs which seem to be doing fine some rosemary and uh, parsley and dill and then here's some more nasturums this is just about done <laughs> not quite these are our cabbages <laughs> they're nice and huge really nice looking cabbages get in there <laughs> um here's those poor radishes nothing and radishes are so easy to grow so is spinach and this spinach just looks so so puny i don't know it may may have been where it was so may have been where it was so hot this is the lettuce and I've never not been able to grow lettuce. This grow up coming up a little bit right there. A little bit through here, but I don't know. It's a, uh, I think it's just something with that compost. Um, and then there's the chives and oregano. Kind of took a beating from the frost. We got sheets here where we covered them, but we didn't cover them the first night. And they, um, we're so green. Um, what is this? Oregano. Oregano. No. Another mint over there. All right, let's go check the plants out that we're gonna put in. Tastes like garden. pepper. <laughs> let's go check the plants out that we're gonna put in the summer garden. All right, here I've got some mint, chocolate mint from last year, and some lemon balm, some volunteer oregano coming up in random ones. Okay, here is our massive amount of plants. 
for the summer garden and then some sunflowers I got for Mother's Day. But yeah. Just got stung. Okay. <laughs> so most of these tall tomatoes are the um San Marzanas that we started. Josh bought some from a nursery and then I got some from a nursery. So we got some peppers from the nursery. And then these little weaklings here, he got from a different nursery. I got some sage I bought. This is our peppers that we started. The bullnose sweet peppers and the bells. Some of them's not doing good. We have had, we've been hardening these off and most of them feel like they're pretty hardened off and they seem to tolerate like the wind and stuff good but with the extreme cold that we've had and the extreme heat we've had i feel like that's where they've kind of took a beating some of them need water i can tell um but it just gets dry they just get dried out like peppers are fine peppers are fine this is all our squash and cucumber zucchini um here's some flowers here's some flowers we started We've got some zinnias, lots of zinnias, bachelor's button, um, I think some asters and calendula over there. Uh, here's my lavender. It's slipping. It needs some water too. These beautiful sunflowers that I got for Mother's Day. All right, so there's our some of those asters, giant asters are coming up. What is this? Zinnias. These aren't coming up, but I think these zinnias were old seeds. These right here were newer. So I think that's what's happened with that. Um, but here is our get the camera out of my way. Here's the homestead tomatoes that we put in here. And if you can see looking pretty good and that one too so I've only watered these once since I planted them and I'm really happy with this method so I might try it again next year um, and see how it goes because um, I mean we didn't have to start that many San Marzanos but um, but I thought I would have plenty of room that we were gonna figure something out but um, so these are slicers and then he got these beef steaks they're kind of looking puny but here's some mortgage lifters and this is uh, early girl that we bought from a nursery so um, I should have repotted my San Marzano's but it'll be okay it will be okay so there is what's got to go in the summer garden <laughs> lots of plants all right so here's the last part of the garden tour my kids surprised me that i have been working on this garden flower bed for a couple weeks and just here and there when i get like five minutes to do something and i come out on mother's day they said they have one more surprise and they finished it and filled it with compost and I'm so excited. Of course, up here, there's still a big pile of rocks and then some more um, cardboard we have to cover, but we're just gonna leave it because we're gonna make make more, but that's kind of where the pile landed. So um, before I, they knew I wanted my flower bed here, so they dumped all the rocks there. But um, yeah, that is our garden tour. Um, that's the look at the summer garden is done we're gonna go and get some chores done and get dinner started um, but i hope you have a great day i hope you're staying well and thank you for watching god bless